everyone. Today I am starting my onions. So I've never overwintered onions before. I usually always uh, transplant them in uh, like spring, early spring. The reason why I want to try overwinter them is because my onions never get like that big. Like I have like, you know, little size onions, but they never get big. So this time I'm going to try it and we'll see what happens. So I visited the nursery a few days ago and they had um, onion starts. So I got two bunches. They were like 275 per bunch. I'm going to plant them in buckets this time because my beds are pretty full with other veggies. So I drilled some holes on this bucket. I got them from Walmart. They were like 11 bucks. They didn't have holes at the bottom, so I drilled some. It was pretty easy to drill them. So here I have a mix of um, topsoil and compost. So what I did is I added some compost like halfway, no, I'm, I'm lying, not compost, uh, topsoil. I added topsoil about halfway and then I added compost to it and then mixed it around a little bit and then I added just compost at the top. So this half of it is pure compost. And then um, I added some worm castings at the top and I added some blood meal and bone meal to it. So yeah, so that's, that's all I'm adding to the soil right now. I soaked these onion starts for, I'm gonna say 30 minutes, not that long, just to give the roots a little bit of water because they were pretty dry. So your onions need about an inch and a half deep and about three inches away from each other and away from the pot. So I'm gonna say three inches and then an inch and a half. And then they go in. So I am growing short day onions. That was one of my mistakes when I first started growing onions. So I saw someone in YouTube talking about the Walla Walla onion and how good they were. So I was like, oh, I want to grow them too. And then I started the seed and everything and my onions didn't grow that good. I don't even remember exactly what was wrong with them, but they didn't grow. And that is because those, those onions are long day onion which they don't grow good in my zone i am zone nine and i think they grow in like zone six something like that so that that was one of the reasons why they didn't grow good okay so my pots are ready i do have a lot of onions left i'm just gonna plug them around the garden wherever there's uh, space so my plan is to fertilize them during winter just to make sure that they have the nutrition they need and they can survive the winter and then another time in early spring just to um, you know help them create the um, bulb and after that I'm not gonna fertilize anymore because if you keep fertilizing them they will stop growing but yeah I think I mean that is it oh mulching so I am going to um, mulch my onions. That is very important to mulch them, especially when you are overwintering them because um, it will help the, the soil to stay moist and obviously from freezing. Well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.